yo what's good basketball heads it's your boy crush let's talk about pj tucker man going donuts in 19 games so in 19 games this season pj tucker has scored zero points i know he's not just a scorer he's a three and d guy you know he plays great defense solid defense but zero points in 19 games i could see one or maybe two but 19 games so pj tucker went scoreless in 19 games while a player like Carmelo Anthony is still out the league, still unsigned, and you have players like P.J. Tucker, Ben Simmons, Kendrick Nunn, I could go on and on, that's in the league and they're not even good. For God's sake, Giannis' brother is in the league. Both his brothers are in the league on the Bucks, And we all know the only reason why Giannis' brothers are on the Bucs is because of relationship. That's Giannis' brother. That's the best player in the league. That's his brother, so they're taking a spot, basically. But a guy like Melo can't get a spot on any team? Somebody please make this make sense. A team would rather sign a family member to sit on a bench and not contribute to anything than to pick up a guy like Melo who could give you 13 to 15 points off the bench. And it's a great guy for the locker room. How does this make sense? Melo is definitely blackballed from the NBA. There's no way around it. I don't get why the NBA is so quick to push Melo out the league, basically. They're trying to get him out the league, you know, force him out the league. I don't know what he did or what's the reason why, you know, he's getting such a bad treatment. Melo is a very mellow guy, as his name implied. Lay back, reserve, not a drama guy. Not somebody who stirred things up like Dylan Brooks or Draymond Green. Still a very quality player that you could use on a bench but for some reason he's just not NBA material at this point because nobody have signed him I don't understand why but you have players like Ben Simmons and PJ Tucker on a team giving you zero points so PJ Tucker went scoreless in 19 of 64 starts this season which is absurd 19 games he's scoreless that is crazy in 19 games. Not even two points. I don't get it. Yeah, they acquired P.J. Tucker last season. And truth be told, P.J. Tucker is not the same player from years ago. He's not. His game has dropped off a good amount. He's not the same player. So he won a championship with the Bucs. And then he left the Bucs and he went to Philly to play with James Harden and Daryl Morey. They did offer him a big contract. They overpaid for P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker is so overpaid, it's crazy. And I'm not even hating on him. I'm just speaking facts. The man got almost $40 million, way over value. They overpaid for him. I don't know why they paid so much for him, but they did. And his production haven't lived up to the money they gave him. But you got a guy like Melo sitting at home, still hungry to play, working on his game most days, staying in great shape. And he can't get a spot on a roster? The eight man? The seventh man? The ninth man? Something? You mean to tell me there's no spot on a team for Melo? That's crazy, man. And with the recent situation, Dylan Brooks coming out, speaking on Melo, talking about Melo don't want to be a guy like Haslam in the locker room. Melo and Haslam are two different players. I mean, let's be real about this. Melo's game compared to Haslam is night and day. They're two different players. Like, Melo could still give you 20 on any given night. Haslam is not that type of player. No, they have different games, so you don't compare them. They're totally different players. I don't understand how these players are able to steal money. Recently, Tracy McGrady came out and said a lot of players are in the NBA because of relationships, which is a fact. A lot of players are in this league based on relationships you know he's cool with this guy this star they're cool their best friends are relationship goes a long way in life basically who you know who you're cool with Giannis brothers shouldn't be in the NBA let's be honest or be on a team for that matter but they're in the NBA while a guy like Carmelo who could actually help Giannis or help any team is not in the league I mean make it make sense Giannis would rather take up a spot on the roster with his brother just sitting there doing nothing. It's the same way LeBron James' son, Bronny, is supposedly in the top 10 recruits. Let's be honest. Is Bronny James' skill set 
a top 10 recruit? Come on, man. We all know the answer to that. This is, once again, relationships. This is, his father is LeBron James. So a lot of times in life, it's not about how hard you work. It's who you know. Most of the times, it's who you know. So even if Bronny James is not a top 10 recruit, he's still good off because that's LeBron's son. So he's going to find his way in the NBA. His future is good, basically, based off relationship, not because he's the best player, he's the best talent. No, let's just call it for what it is. I'm not saying he's a scrub, but but yeah, man. So P.J. Tucker, you know, 19 games scoring zero points. That's Ben Simmons like. That's crazy. Your boy Melo's out here, still hungry to get in the league, you know, feeling like he has something he could contribute to a championship team, which he can. And nobody want to touch him. No one want to pick him up. And you wouldn't have to pay him much. The vet minimum. You wouldn't have to pay Melo much at all. The vet minimum. He wouldn't cost you nothing. Instant offense off the bench. But as always, man, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it, it's all about the game.